as simple as you can be. You will be astonished to see how uncomplicated and happy your life can become. Do not do what you want, and then you may do what you like. Every tomorrow is determined by every today. Forget the past, for it is gone from your domain. Forget the future, for it is beyond your reach. Control the present. Live supremely well now. This is the way of the wise. Learn the art of right living. If you have joy, you have everything. Live quietly in the moment and see the beauty of all before you. The future will take care of itself. Read a little, meditate more, think of God all the time. You must not let your life run in the ordinary way. Do something that nobody else has done. Something that will dazzle the world. Show that God's creative principle works in you. The power of unfulfilled desires is the root of all man's slavery. The secret of health for both mind and body is not to mourn for the past, worry about the future, or anticipate troubles, but to live in the present moment wisely and earnestly. Before embarking on important undertakings, sit quietly, calm your sense and thoughts, and meditate deeply. You will then be guided by the great creative power of spirit. Having lots of money while not having inner peace is like dying of thirst while bathing in the ocean. You have come to earth to entertain and to be entertained. The season of failure is the best time for sowing the seeds of success. Kindness is the light that dissolves all walls between souls, families, and nations. There is a magnet in your heart that will attract true friends. That magnet is unselfishness. Thinking of others first, when you learn to live for others, they will live for you. Be afraid of nothing, hating none, giving love to all, feeling the love of God, seeing his presence in everyone, and having but one desire, for his constant presence in the temple of your consciousness that is the way to live in this world. Brotherhood is an ideal better understood by example than precept. Making others happy through kindness of speech and sincerity of right advice is a sign of true greatness. To hurt another soul by sarcastic words, looks, or suggestions is despicable. Many people excuse their own faults, but judge other persons harshly. We should reverse this attitude by excusing others' shortcomings and by harshly examining our own. Attachment is blinding. 
it lends an imaginary halo of attractiveness to the object of desire. God is simple. Everything else is complex. Do not seek absolute values in the relative world of nature. Ordinary love is selfish, darkly rooted in desires and satisfactions. Divine love is without condition, without boundary, without change. The flux of the human heart is gone forever at the transfixing touch of pure love. If you don't invite God to be your summer guest, He won't come in the winter of your life. If you permit your thoughts to dwell on evil, you yourself will become ugly. So long as we believe in our heart of hearts that our capacity is limited and we grow anxious and unhappy, we are lacking in faith. One who truly trusts in God has no right to be anxious about anything. I am the cosmic ocean of sound and the little wave of the body vibration in it. Stillness is the altar of spirit. In waking, eating, working, dreaming, sleeping, serving, meditating, chanting, divinely loving, my soul constantly hums unheard by any. God, God, God. Persistence guarantees that results are inevitable. Seeds of past karma cannot germinate if they are roasted in the fires of divine wisdom. Since you alone are responsible for your thoughts, only you can change them. Retire to the center of your being, which is calmness. The wave is the same as the ocean, though it is not the whole ocean, so each wave of creation is a part of eternal ocean of spirit. The ocean can exist without the waves, but the waves cannot exist without the ocean. To work with God's happiness, bubbling in the soul, is to carry a portable paradise within you wherever you go. Your spine is your body's battery. Keep it charged. Yoga is, as I can readily believe, the perfect and appropriate method of fusing body and mind together so that they form a unity which is scarcely to be questioned. This unity creates a psychological disposition which makes possible intuitions that transcend consciousness. The human mind is a spark of the almighty consciousness of God. I could show you that whatever your powerful mind believes very intensely would instantly come to pass. The kingdom of God is just behind the darkness of closed eyes, and the first gate that opens to it is your peace. The soul must stretch over the cosmogonic abysses while the body performs its daily duties. 
The body melts into the universe. The universe melts into the soundless voice. The sound melts into the all shining light. And the light enters the bosom of infinite joy. The body is literally manufactured and sustained by mind. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. You do not have to struggle to reach God, but you do have to struggle to tear away the self-created veil that hides him from you.